what's going on you guys it's your girl maya j thank you for watching and thank you for tuning in as you guys can see we're on the go <laughs> um if you watched the last vlog you guys know that i've been off for a few days well now it's been the whole week it's thursday so it's pretty much been the whole week that i've been off from work um because my work laptop won't connect or stay connected to my home wi-fi so I've called my internet service provider, nothing they can do on their end because it's not anything wrong on their end, it's my job. So I've had a ticket submitted to IT. IT has not contacted me at all, which is wild to me. They haven't contacted me at all. There's an open ticket. I've been working with my supervisors they supposedly had the ticket expedited, um, but they still haven't gotten in contact with me. So we're off of work again, and you know we're just running some errands. It's just very frustrating to me because it's like, why does it have to be all of this? You know what I mean? Like they keep using the excuse that they're backlogged. How backlogged can you be? How backlog can you be to, you know, not be able to provide? And I know, you know, IT is a whole nother department away from, you know, my supervisors, et cetera, whatever. But it's like a whole week and no type of resolution. Like I've done everything on my end to, you know, ensure that it's not anything wrong on my end. And I'm sorry if you guys are shaking, but I've done everything on my end to ensure that there's nothing wrong over here. So what's going on on y'all part? So I haven't talked to them, still waiting. Um, and it's after 12 now, it's 1228 on a Thursday. I've been in contact with them since Monday morning when I tried to log in to start the work week and they still haven't contacted me which is wild to me it's like it's wild so i'm a little i'm trying to work diligently and you know try to suppress how i really want to react but that's the thing you guys and i i don't like pulling this car or whatever um and i don't pull it often but that's the thing like in the corporate world or to me just anywhere for black women it's like everything is just 10 times extra we have to work 10 times harder 10 times extra like everything just has to be elevated and just 10 times more than if it was with somebody else you know what i'm saying um and i don't like pulling that car but if it quacks like a duck, if it looks like a duck, then it might be a duck, okay? It might be a duck. So, uh, y'all, y'all just keep me uplifted in prayer. <laughs> just keep me uplifted in prayer because this is ridiculous. Like, I don't know. I just, I don't know what's going on, but we're going to turn it around. God's going to turn it around and, you know, we're going to hope that, you know, we get some type of answer today or tomorrow and, you know, just be able to move on. So, um, that, <laughs> this man just threw me off, but anyways, so we just hope that we get some type of resolution soon, but for now, we just going to thug it out. So, um, I'm out running some errands. Um, I'm gonna take this ethernet cord that I had bought from Best Buy. I'm gonna take this back to Best Buy today um, because that didn't work as far as the connection. And yeah, so we are gonna, I think we might go to Target and other places, I don't know yet. But yeah, just out running errands and taking care of some stuff that, you know, I probably wouldn't be able to take care of if I was on the clock, so. Yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day, a wonderful Thursday, or whenever you're watching this. 
and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit just to see what we getting into. Uh, no, I wanted to, which we'll return this. Uh, no, I just didn't need it. Okay. You don't need to see the car? Okay. Uh, All right. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. what's up y'all so we're taking a little break um from running errands so i stopped at chick-fil-a right quick and got me something to eat it's 229 and so we pretty much got everything done that we needed to get done today um my last stop i just need to go to target and pick up a few things so we're gonna go there but first, I had to get something to eat because I was hungry. I haven't ate anything since this morning. So, just wanted to stop and get something real quick. So, I got some chicken strips from Chick-fil-A. And so, I just pulled in this um, parking lot and just chilling. But did you guys see I was in Barnes & Noble because I was trying to connect um, the laptop, trying to see if it would connect, and it didn't. So... That didn't connect, but I still walked around a little bit and seen what they had. And y'all, excuse me, my lips are dry. <laughs> my lips are dry. But y'all, like, I forgot how much I enjoyed that type of environment. Like, I used to go to Barnes & Noble and sit down and read books all day. 
Like that was the thing back in 09, 2010, stuff like that. Like I would be in the back of Barnes and Noble with my scarf and everything. <laughs> With my scarf and everything, thinking I'm doing something with my little Starbucks. So, y'all did see where I had um, got some Starbucks from there, too. And, yeah, like, it was just a cute little chill spot. You know, I hung out in there for a little bit or whatever. So, yeah, I think I might, I think I might, you know, that might be somewhere I go from now on. Like, just to chill and read a book. Because they did have a lot of good books that I um, spotted, too. So, yeah, I think that might be the move sometime. Um, but yeah, so if you guys enjoy reading books and you have a Barnes & Noble or any type of bookstore and you're um, in your area, stop in there because people still read books. Like, I used to read books all the time, but I just fell off. I fell off and I still have a whole cabinet full of books that I don't read. So, yeah, that might be the move from now on, but... I'm about to eat. I don't want my food to get cold or whatever. So I'll hang in there with y'all. We gonna go in Target and get these few little things that I need. Okay, y'all. <laughs> I am winded. We are finally home. I think it's a little bit after five or going on six. I believe it's closer to six. So we've had a long Thursday. Um, when you guys see me, I'm about to eat Chick-fil-A. That's when IT from my job had called. I was like, I knew I had a feeling they were going to call me while I was out. So that's a good thing. We got it almost resolved. They're going to overnight me a new laptop. Um, so I'll get it tomorrow and we'll see what's what with that. So that's a good thing. They're going to overnight me a new laptop and fingers crossed. But I did want to show you guys some of the things or just little things that I found at Target. So I'm going to start with the Donna's Recipe by Tabitha Brown. Um, she has this sweet potato pie, extra creamy hair and scalp oil. So it says use a small amount to damp or dry hair and style as desired. So it's not something that you wash out or anything like that. And let's see. So it's supposed to strengthen, easily detangle and reduce 
breakage for softer natural shine. Sweet potatoes packed with vitamin A and omega-3 fatty acids, et cetera, et cetera. So I had my eye on this and I wanted to try it. So I picked this up because sometimes I like, and I believe it's like a, it's like a pomade or a hair grease. So sometimes I will, most of the time I do like a loose oil but sometimes I like to take it back and go to a hair grease. So I've tried Allocate Natural. They do have like a hair grease too um, that comes in a jar and you apply it with your finger, you know, a hair grease. So I've tried that and I loved it. And when I seen that Tabitha Brown Donna's Recipe had one too, I wanted to try it. So, and it smells delicious. What is it? Ooh. It smells like a, it's sweet potato pie. Okay, so it do smell like sweet potato pie, but it kind of smells like a, a snickerdoodle cookie too, which is two opposite things, but either way, it smells good. So, ooh, so yeah, it's like a hair grease. And that's what it looks like. So I'm going to just put it around here. So it's not too greasy. I kind of like the way this feels. I love the way it smells. And I like the way it feels so far. So I'm going to wash my hair. I'm not going to use this until I wash my hair and style my hair again and see how it actually performs because I need to do, I need to do my roof anyway. <laughs> so um, I'm not going to use it until I, you know, actually wash my hair and see how it performs. But so far, so good. I like it so far. So, and then it has no parabens, color safe, free of SLS and SLES, you know, if all of that stuff matters to you. So, yeah, I can't wait to try this. Um, and also, I found, you know how Target, they have like their $3, $5 section. So, I found these cute little basketball hoop and the basketball. So, I have um, two nephews. They're, you know, little boys, and I thought this would be cute for Christmas. I think instead of buying, like, big presents for them, I'm going to make, like, a stocking or, you know, get a stocking from maybe Dollar Tree or something like that and just fill it up with, like, little gifts like this. So these were $3 each, and this is The Incredible Hulk and Spider-Man. So I thought these were cute to put in, you know, maybe a, a gift bag or like I said, a stocking and I might decorate the stocking with their name and all of that stuff. So I thought that was cute. And then one of my nephews, he's really into dinosaurs all of a sudden. So they had these cute little socks, the Christmas dinosaur. <laughs> he is going to trip out over these. He's going to love these. And this was the last pair waiting for him. So, sir, when you see these. This was the last pair. <laughs> um, so yeah, these were cute. So I had to grab these. They only had one pair. So, um, but yeah, that's what a little idea that I came up with. And I think that's what I'm going to do for them for Christmas. Just make, you know, a little basket or a bag or stocking or something like that instead of like big gifts. So I think stuff like that is, you know, cute and fun. So we'll see their reaction um, when I put everything together and give it to them for Christmas. But that's just, you know, a few things that I wanted to show you. Other things that I've gotten, you've seen me grab before in previous vlogs. So I'm going to get off of here for the night. I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog so far. If you have, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe and continue to watch until the end of the vlog. And yeah, I'm out to go chill out, make something to eat probably. I'm not sure, but I'll get with you guys later and enjoy the rest of your night.
happy Sunday, y'all. So it's been a few days later. I think the last time I met up with you guys, it was on Thursday. So it's Sunday now. And as you guys seen, we just attempted to make some Christmas cookies. So I tried to make a Christmas tree, but it just didn't work out the way I wanted it to. But I wanted to show you guys the kind of cookies that I chose. So I chose the Sweet Lawrence cookies. I've been seeing these around in the grocery store, so I wanted to try them. And so it's, I guess they're vegan cookies. So 12 come in a pack and I got the chocolatey chunk. And they had, they had another flavor called fudgy brown or something, brownie or something like that. So they're plant-based, gluten-free, dairy-free, peanut and tree nut free. So I wanted to try these out. I haven't tasted them yet, so we're gonna taste them while we're on camera. So basically chocolate chip. So we are gonna try it. And so I put a little frosting on it and some sprinkles and this is my little Christmas tree. They're pretty good. They're not too sweet, but they're just right. Yeah, they're pretty good. Mm. Yeah, they're good. Mm. Okay. I see you, sweet Lawrence. <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty cool. So crafted with only clean ingredients. So if you wanna try these out, I've seen them in Wegmans. I think I've seen them in Walmart as well. So yeah, the chocolate chunk cookie dough. And it says it is safe to eat raw too because it doesn't have any dairy or eggs in it. So, okay. Yep, so if you see it, go ahead and grab your pet. It's really good. But you guys seen the little Christmas vibes. I'm in my little onesie, my little Fenty, Savage X Fenty onesie. A little warm and cozy vibes. It's a little cloudy and gloomy out today. And it's also raining, but I'm about to check out this little soul food spot called Black Eyed Peas out here in Virginia Beach. So we're gonna try that out and see how it is. It's just a soul food restaurant and I already looked at the menu and I think I want some catfish. So we'll see. But the next time you guys see me, we'll be in the restaurant and I'll show you guys what I got to eat. But in the meantime, I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog. If you are, then go ahead and like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in a little bit.
on you guys. So it's the next day. The last time y'all see me, it was, well, it was yesterday and I was eating. <laughs> y'all, that food was so good. Like, even though it was soul food, like, I typically don't really go to soul food spots or whatever because it's like, I mean, I can just cook it myself. But I'm glad I went. Like, I was, the food was, it was top tier. So, yeah. I ate, came home, and got comfortable, took the little thing off my head, like the, the wrap of, uh, hair tie, whatever, and got in the bed and I'm laying in the bed. I'm like, I didn't end the vlog. I didn't close out the vlog. <laughs> so I'm closing out the vlog. Now it's the next day. It's Monday. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to the week or whenever you're watching this. If it's on a Wednesday, you can start your week on a Wednesday. It doesn't have to be a Monday, but I hope you guys are having a wonderful start to the week. Um, I'm currently working. I just got ready for the day and stuff, but I'm on the clock. So I'm about to get back to that and I'll see you guys in the next video and I'm going to do my hair. Like y'all see these little white things. That's gray hair. That's gray hair y'all. So we going to wash, <laughs> we going to wash this roof. <laughs> And I'm going to put my two strand twists back in. Um, I'm going to also like do something with these sideburns, y'all. Um, and my eyebrows, I try to grow my eyebrows out. So when I do um, arch them, they can be like a certain type of thickness. I like my eyebrows a little thick. I don't really like them thin. And lately when I've been doing them, they've been coming out thin. So I've grown them out. And I think this is the thickness that I want them to be. So I'm going to do my eyebrows and yeah, just a whole maintenance situation. But this hair has to get done because look at those grays. I can see it from here. Oh my gosh. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you did, go ahead and like, leave a comment, and go ahead and subscribe and join the community as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.